Now let's talk about another type of supervised learning which is classification. We use classification when the output is discrete value. What does it mean? Discrete value means they are like categorical data. They are not continuous numbers. And that's the main difference between classification and regression. When we use regression, the output is continuous values like housing price, like the insurance data that we have seen. And when the output data is categorical data like is it a spam is it not a spam is it going to rain is it not going to rain is it cat is it dog is it fish that's classification and even when we use those categorical data as numbers those numbers have no value in their own for example if i represent dog as one and cat as two it doesn't mean cat is better or worse than dog it has no meaning for the algorithm and the algorithm tries to find the relationship between those input values and those discrete values that we set as output and as we said this is a supervised learning so we provide label data now let's talk about one of the best algorithms for classification which is k nearest neighbors what does it do it predicts the label of data point based on the label of its closest neighbors it tries to find the relationship between values and put them in different categories and then when we give it new values it tries to find which category which group which neighbor is the closest to this one and based on that it predicts that this value is probably going to belong to these neighbors, to this group, to this category. So let's go to our code and see this in action. This is a code from our last lesson when we talked about SVR. Now let's go through the steps again and prepare our data and use classification algorithms this time. The very first thing that we want to change is our data. Again, for the data, in the PHP AI folder, data folder, we also have a folder called Iris. Iris is a very good sample data for practicing classification. Let me open it in Excel. Here, we have four features, four inputs, and then at the end, we are trying to decide the category of the flower based on these inputs. And the categories are these three. Let me show you these three flowers first. One of them is Iris virginica, one of them Iris versicolor, and one of them is Iris setosa. And believe me, I don't know anything about flowers, and honestly, these three look very similar to me. So if we can create a model that predicts correctly what type of flower it is based on just four features, it would be mind-blowing. So let's see if we can do it or not. Now, as we saw, there were four features. Let me copy this iris data to my data folder. Now, all I have to do is just to change this wine to iris. And there were four features, not 13. We had a heading row. Then we are going to split the data to test set and train set and now instead of regression we are going to use classification and instead of SVR we are going to use KNN or K nearest neighbors then we are going to train based on that classification and then we are going to predict with that classification algorithm if we look at the code for K nearest neighbors it gets a k which is the number of groups that it tries to put the data in by default is three and then it gets a distance which is not required and by default it's using this class for calculating the distance so let's go back to our code since we also have three categories we can put it here and then we train the data we predict the values this is a classification and R2 score is not necessary so we can 
remove that our predicted values are not float numbers so we don't need to round them and accuracy is a very good metrics to get the classification accuracy so that's it that's all we had to do we just changed the data change the number of features and change the algorithms so let's see if we get a very good result or not php index.php 96% that's amazing that's a very very good model to me it's mind blowing because even my brain cannot see the difference between those three flowers and based on four simple features we can give values to this model and it tells us which flower it is it's just amazing and the sky is limit now let's try something let's see if we can predict values for our wine data do you remember when we used svr for our wine data let's open our wine data again to see what it looked like okay based on all these inputs and features it tries to decide the output or it tries to calculate the relationship between all these inputs and its quality here there are three qualities we can use that and all the qualities are one two three we can treat it like discrete values so instead of using regression algorithms we will be using classification algorithm and we try to tell our algorithm that these values are discrete these are not continuous number and try to see if you can find the relationship between all these features and these categories to see if we get a better result i think with svr we got 73 percent let's see if we get a better result with k nearest neighbors so let's go back to our code change the iris to wine and i think there were 13 features we don't need to change anything again there were three main classes so let's see php index.php 86 percent that works better than the regression algorithms and that's a very good lesson you don't have to stick to one algorithm you can be creative you can use different algorithms and by doing that we got better results that's amazing so let's go through what we did today at first it was iris data and then we changed it to wine data first we load the data then we split our data with this algorithm to four different groups then we changed the algorithm from regression to classification and we used k nearest neighbors then we trained our model and based on that trained model we predicted values from our test sample then we compared those test sample with predicted values to see what is the accuracy of our model which was very good that's it with just very few lines of codes we could make predictions for both type of flower that we see with just a few line we could predict what type of flower we see and what type of wine we are dealing with it's very good it's just mind-blowing that's it let's continue with our course